Hello guys, my name is Vijay. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. In this session, uh, let us discuss about uh, this particular topic, product deployment using Mule, Maven, Plugin. The authentication type is uh, server, I mean through server actually. Okay. Uh, before that, let's see a little bit about the same in the Mule documentation. You see authentication methods, we have four and uh, here is where we have server. Use credentials stored in Maven server, configured inside the Maven settings.xml file. Okay. Uh, so we have installed the latest version of Maven in the previous session. Uh, now we have to uh, go to the directory of uh, uh, Maven, uh, go to program files, uh, and then this is the latest version that I have installed or configured. And within this, right, you have to uh, go to the settings.xml. I think it should be there in configuration. So in this uh, settings.xml, we have to configure um, servers, basically. OK, so here we have servers. So let me remove this comments. Um, yeah. So I have copied the previous, config, uh, previous uh, Maven's content. Okay, so let me con copy this and paste it in between. Okay, so you need to have server tag and within that you need to have ID, username and password. Okay, these three parameters. Um, ID, you can have anything. Uh, let me keep it as any point dot uh, platform. Uh, username, my cloud hub username. and the password for the same okay so this way we have configured the user credentials uh, with which we can log in into any point platform or when we deploy our mule application right uh, uh, this is how we can get authenticated ourselves okay uh, let me So now, uh, if you see in the documentation, um, we have to use this particular tag, configuration parameters, that is server. So go to your pom.xml file and remove this username and password because we have already kept uh, these things in settings.xml under servers, so server. Now whatever we have configured here, right, any point dot platform, I, yeah, we can use this um, here save it so that way right uh, uh, we'll be able to fetch this uh, username and password okay um, yeah okay so we are we are done with pom configuration the changes that we have to do in pom.xml file now let's go ahead with the deployment now as i shown in the previous session um, let's try to deploy uh, the same application within test environment for example now let me do a small change i'll simply add a space here so that okay so i'm done with my change now let's try to uh, deploy this application in in test environment once again okay so previously i was using um, sorry for that yeah so let's take the same command maven command okay and this time we need not send the password and the username okay so let me change it to test because we would like to redeploy to test environment so let me hit enter and ideally this should work let's see how it goes You see, because this is there uh, already with the same name in uh, test environment, it says uh, uh, already exists and it is redeploying. See, it says updating here. Now let me pause the video for a few moments. 
and once it shows build success I will resume the video hello guys you see uh, the application got redeployed successfully uh, let's test this application one more time see now because we have given that extra space we got uh, uh, the response properly um, and you see we got build success as well okay so this way you can uh, deploy your uh, um, applications using server configuration within settings.xml and also you can undeploy the same by using the same command but here you can remove the username and password because we have already configured them in settings.xml okay now uh, you might wonder right uh, uh, see here you, you can have environment specific uh, credentials as well so let's say our any point platform it's a, a cloud platform so we have only one username and password so now if you assume some other uh, let's say standalone standalone applications for example so they'll be having different username and password per environment okay so in that instance this is more useful okay and also if, if you see in the documentation right we can even encrypt the password that we are passing within settings.xml right this password so we can encrypt this and that we can pass here so you could see that here uh, in the documentation encrypt credentials this is how we can encrypt and pass it okay so thank you so much uh, 